LibreOffice Draw is a great free software that allows us to draw flowcharts. To draw a flowchart, simply create a brand new document like I just did, then head to the right side to Shapes. Alright, we can see it straight away. Flowchart category is over here and that's all we need. Now you can hover your mouse to see the description of each shape. For example, this is a simple process. Now I can draw it. Let's change to decision making block. Here it is. Now I just draw it. We can start and end the flowchart with some kind of circular shapes. And as you can guess, we will need more than one process probably. You can actually select the existing shape and you can make a copy of it. So Command C, Command V on Mac or Control C, Control V on Windows. All right, let's arrange that on our page. This one is way too large. All right, then we got some kind of decision going on here. As you can see, it's a really straightforward process. And again, I just copy and paste existing shapes here. Okay, we got something like a flowchart. Now the next question is, how can we edit colors and put the text in those shapes? So when you double tap on the shape, one, two, you'll be able to type in. You can also adjust the font. You can change the font size and color all on the right side. To modify the shape color itself, we can head to the left and we can change the fill and the line color. As you can see, the text is adjusted now. I got dark fill color so the text become white. That's a really handy feature. Okay, I'll go with the yellow with no line around. So let me just select the same color for the line temporary. All right, and I can now duplicate this all setup shape to be my end shape. All right, now for the process, take a look. I can hold shift to select all three blocks and this way I can change the color same time. All right, I will not type any text inside, but it's the same process. Just double tap and put the text in. Then we got some kind of decision block that we can adjust the color as well. Okay, now the big question is how can we connect all of that with proper line connectors? Head to the left to our main tool panel. You can see connectors here. There are different styles. I will pick the one with the arrowhead. Now I drag one from here to here. And take a look, I got proper sticky connector. So the line will stay even I move my shapes. Okay, let's continue that from here to here. Alright. And to give a final check to your flowchart, you can move something around. If your lines follows nicely, I mean everything is connected correctly. That's the big advantage of using like proper diagramming software versus like, I don't know, Photoshop or Procreate. In this case, you modify the diagram later. You don't need to worry about those lines that are now misguided. Now they're all connected to shapes and they will follow those shapes. Of course, like with any other object, you can decide about color and the thickness of the arrow. So let me just zoom in a bit. I'll select this arrow here, so click directly on the arrow and then on the right side you can see what kind of line you got. So it's going to be dash line, thickness. Let's make it one point. And finally the color. You can adjust the color as well. Now it's the blue, let's make it black. Here it is. And also you can see those red points, you can adjust that as well. So how the line is kind of bricked. All right, so that's how you can draw your own flowchart using a free software called LibreOffice Draw. It's full vector base and it's got sticky arrows like a proper diagramming software. I hope 
this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.